GTA fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zlot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 9 series. So, we've been doing some work on the base, and I, I ran out of stone. It doesn't look like I've been doing work on it, but here, I'll take you on a little bit of a quick tour. So, we started laying out more of the... Um, railings. I had to make a crap ton more. So I'll show you what I've done over here in the um, mechanical room. So I've boxed in the O2. Uh, I got rid of those cargo boxes and I moved. I added uh, four more capacitors. So I have eight capacitors now. Um, I've textured it up sort of how I want this room textured so it's very mechanical looking I'm not sure if I'm going to paint it I might leave it default gray metal looking I actually kind of like the look of this this is very very futuristic and it doesn't look like it's made out of concrete you know what I'm saying I didn't want it to look like it I'm there's once I'm done with this it won't look like it's made out of concrete at all I'm not gonna have anything look like concrete <laughs> but right now uh, in the meantime I'm not gonna paint this room I'm just gonna keep adding it to it uh, we got the one gravity gen down I mean it's it's not doing much for us right now it's <laughs> Where, where we're working on it doesn't do anything for us we need I'm gonna need like eight of them in this base at least so <clears throat> um, I'll show you what I've done I've the reason why I ran out of stone even though I had those couple of stacks of stone is because I've almost done building the outer levels on this side as you can see and all the windows are almost up. I just got to finish this upper, these last two tiers here and finish the stone off. You can see this, this place is actually turned into a pretty massive base. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm going to do with all these levels, but oh my God, there's going to be a lot. Um, and then we still got all the other sweets to make on the other side there so that that's not <laughs> going to be just a concrete wall that's I've got plans for that and there's still more construction going to go on the outside and you know more building to go um, so we've got a lot done but a long way to go I would say I'm maybe halfway finished building this thing Maybe. And it's massive already. It's way beyond spawnable, legal spawn, spawn limits if you have your, um, if you have that setting set to uh, max spawn limit. Um, <clears throat> and it's currently sitting as a class 12. So unfortunately, it's gotten beyond the point where in a legal spawn you, you, there it's not legal anymore to spawn it in but that doesn't matter if in single player once i finish it i'll publish it it'll probably be around level uh a class 25 would be my guess when i'm done um and that's probably this is the base i'll probably be using moving forward in in the games for quite a bit when i spawn a a space base in uh, because you're a single player, you can choose to spawn it in using um, GM. Uh, you can just go and turn that off anyway. As like, just log out, turn that setting off, log back in, spawn it in, log out, turn it back on if you want. I mean, eh, it's not, it's not a big issue in my. In the way of legality, it's not. Uh, I don't know. It's not. I don't really care. Um, 
Although on a server, multiplayer server, I could definitely see a problem with uh, massive bases being able to be spawned in. Um, just <laughs> to cause, like, I don't know, that, that can cause big issues. So class six, yeah, I can see that. But <clears throat> anything over that, that gets a little harsh on the server. So, uh, but currently it's not eating up too much in the way of, of resources uh, and I was I was expecting a little bit more stone but it's not so it's not gonna go too much more stone than that it might hit around 25 maybe 30 once I'm done with deco and stuff interior piping work I'm gonna mostly do that out of, out of concrete so cuz there's you know why not why waste the iron um, but there's still going to be a lot of iron deco with all the trusses and whatnot. And so, um, and all the walkways, they require iron. So my plan here is once I get these walkways built, I'm going to have some sort of scaffolding to set up. There's going to be, I'll have an elevator coming down in, in a few spots, but um, I'll probably have an elevator in each corner there. And then, yeah, I'll probably have two elevators there. And then probably at the back. So what I want to do at the back is up here. I'll show you guys. Once I get this built... So this is going to be the kind of the common area, this huge, this huge area here. I mean, obviously, I'm not sure if that's where I'm going to leave the Wi-Fi. I just put it there so that I didn't keep uh, disconnecting when I was floating around building the base. So those work how and how they're intended now. I'm really happy they fixed that. So now it's it's basically. Uh, 100 meters out from the Wi-Fi connector is where you're getting your Wi-Fi. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, in, a, in when they first got had it released, that wasn't actually working properly. So here's my spawn surface up at the top. I'm not quite sure if it's going to be big enough. I'm not sure yet. I, and I'm not joking. I'm actually not joking because of the CV I have. I'm not sure if that's big enough. <sighs> Unfortunately. I mean, I guess I could turn that off and just spawn it in, and I might do that because I'm not sure if I want to build a bigger pad at this point. So we're probably just going to... I'll probably just turn that setting off and just spawn it in anyway. Um, and again, that's, that's, it's a setting you just go and turn off, you log off, go adjust the settings on the, the save now. And it's just a GUI button, click, flick that off, log back in, spawn it. You can log off and turn it on again, I guess. Uh, I mean, Technically, what I what I want to do is role play the spawn in more than anything. I want to have the base built ready to be a shipyard to facilitate a class six or smaller CV to be spawned in, and and then or constructed on right. You know, built just straight building it from scratch so today what I want to do is go get some stone we got to go get some arrestrium we need some more neo and sath so all these things we got to take the <laughs> the crappy little SV <sighs> I can't wait to get the CV spawned in that'll make life a lot easier we'll get the HV and oh my god things will progress so much faster we can get some drills, get the 
get some drills mounted on the CV and boom, we're getting resources super fast. So, but we're not quite at that stage, even though we have a class 12 base. Yeah, it's been, this is a, this has been a bizarro playthrough because I haven't even done a POI yet. And I feel bad about that, but if you guys really want to see me do POIs, I've done some insanely difficult ones in the Ultimate Iron Man. Uh, and you can go check out the playthrough with the Ultimate Iron Man. Is the, the playlists are still uh, on the site here active. I mean, we're not going to deactivate the playlist, obviously. But go check those out. Um, you know, I'm just saying, just saying, if you haven't checked them out, um, I did okay. I did okay in the competition, you know, <laughs> but, uh, with, uh, with maybe a little bit of salt, you know, a little bit of salty words, just, uh, just saying, you know, but, oh, damn it. Did I, am I, what am I connected to? I'm not connected to anything. I'm derping. Here we go. Let's start with some heavy derp. Actually, let's start with some, uh, burgers. Okay, things don't spoil while I'm at the base. I'm really, I'm interested to see when we leave and come back if everything spoils because that'll just be, oh, 24. 24, that was all at 25 before. Why is that 34? See these, I don't like that when the numbers went down for no apparent reason. Oh, you know what it was? The base flicked on and off for a second when I actually added one of the capacitors, which was kind of weird. It actually, I added the capacitor and the base turned off for a second, all on its own. It was like, whoa, what the hell? I got the warning, the oxygen decompression thing. I'm like, what the, what, what? And all of a sudden it turned itself back on. It was, it, it but the other capacitors putting down the rest of them didn't do that. So that was a bit of a bug, um, I, an unexpected bug for sure. I, that I've never experienced. So I don't know if any of you guys have experienced that, but yeah, it actually shut the whole base off for a second. And I'm not connected to the freaking thing. Am I? <laughs> I don't even know if I should bother now. I mean, really. Uh, yeah, I think I picked it off. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. That's okay. We're okay. We're okay. We can do this. So these oranges are a pain in the ass to pick. I don't know why, but oh my god, their hitboxes just seem way too bulbous or something. I don't know. Too big, maybe. Bulbous? Is that a, is that a thing for a hitbox? Okay, we done? Yeah, there we go. And I guess I could have walked around doing that, but I think it's faster jetpacking. I don't even know why I have the uh, gravity generator. Chances are I won't be <laughs> using gravity ever because I'll have the jetpack on, but whatever. You know, we'll just, we'll just go with it. It's fun. Okay, let's make, uh, I don't know, 10 of those and the rest in that yeah we're getting a huge supply of emergency rations going here so awesome we'll let that cook here we'll grab some o2 that we obviously used up while we're out <clears throat> okay um i think right now we'll just we'll just fuel up we'll get oxygen we'll make sure that this thing is ready to go here so let's jump in it and you know we'll turn it on just because and then let's check out the wi-fi i mean i've got enough food right now i don't really need to stick around i've got lots of emergency rations okay base necessities 
That should be enough for what we need. Now, what we are going to need, though, is... Uh, can I... Am I close enough? Will it... Does it actually let us get into... Base. What is this? I, I need to rename this, don't I? It's not going to let us get into the um, instructors, though, is it? No. No. Okay. That's what I thought, so. Okay, so we got to jump out anyway, then. Oh. Change our view so it stops doing that. Go like this. Go like this. There we go. Okay. So... Hell, we might as well just go up to the uh, constructor then, since we got to do this. Um, now we're going to need a bunch of stuff for the... Let's take a look first. Those are... Yeah, not enough. So we're going to fry that one. We're going to end up frying that one. So we need to build another drill. And I think we're okay on drill charges. So we'll build another drill and I think get going really is all we need to do. Okay. So dump that out to the uh, dump chest. Okay. We should grab a bunch of this stuff and see if... Um, we can find the trading station on the planet. That's not a bad idea. I wouldn't mind getting some heavy armor, but I don't think... I don't think we'd have enough by selling that stuff. So we'll hold off. We'll hold off on the trading thing right now. Let's just get a drill made. And we'll get out of here. All right, we'll grab those burgers. Might as well eat some of those burgers so that the rest, you know, they're just going to spoil anyway when I leave the base, it seems like. But it that's I hope it doesn't do that again cuz that's that's a seriously bad bug. <laughs> like I like, wow. Uh, okay, so just wait for the drill. It should be pretty much ready. Grab another one of those. Yep, okay. Oh, we don't need to put that in the fridge. Actually, here, we'll put it on us. Oh, we can't get to us that way? We cannot get to us that way? Yes, we can. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to have a CV that I can get the mats and not have to worry about having an SV for storage, although I will make a decent, I will reconstruct and make a, make a usable, not so ugly and boxy cargo SV, um, that I'm hoping is only going to be, uh, oh, actually here's, what's our stats here? Let me, just before we take off, let's, because we, we're still within range of the Wi-Fi, so let's, let's fuel up. And O2. I had that in the dump chest. Yeah, we got to make a proper one, but that's fine. Might as well use the base resources since we're right here still. Okay. Well, let's go check out the planet. Um, we are not going to be fighting anything. Oh, yeah, I guess 
let's change where we're connected to to the to this controller. That's good. That's fine. Yeah. Is that going to be enough pentaxid? Do we have? Let's check out. Oh, let's go like that then. Um, we do have we do have the other pentaxid on us, right? Yes, that's almost it. Yeah, that'll be plenty. Okay. And how's our guns? Uh, 3,100, that's okay. Okay. And I'm not really sure what, what to come out over. I'm thinking one of these lake looking things I don't think it's water though I think it's lava or it's like hot hot plains or something like that so it, it's probably not water anyway and there's probably POIs on them so I don't really think it matters. Maybe we'll just come down on top of a mountain. That might be a little safer. Seems like we're gonna crash into the planet, right? Like, holy crap. And, okay, any POIs? Come on, slow down, slow down, baby. Slow down, slow down. There's a POI down there. I don't know what it is. Or is it? Okay, there we go. Slow. Okay, so as I suspected, um, What's the gravity like here? 1.5, so we're not going to be able to pick up as much stuff. No, that's not a POI over there, that's just a stone. That's fine. Okay. Magnesium, don't care. We basically want to get a restroom and run away. So let's take a look at what we've got on the map for, oh, there's going to be a dude down there. That's fine. We'll just stay, we'll just stay up in orbit here or close to orbit for a bit. And, oh yeah, 69 of them. I mean, yeah, it's a huge planet, but lots of Prometheum, too. Good. Magnesium and gold. Wow, this is just a, an uber resource planet. So there's going to be a, a patrol vessel that we're going to have to be mindful of. Just following the... Um, following the radar I want to avoid POIs for the most part it's really freaking loud isn't it sure it keeps saying to the oh there we go another magnesium this looks interesting over here it might be a might be a POI no okay so something to the east and gold. Ooh, a large gold. Ooh, 
that'll get us lots of money. Good to know. And we'll avoid the uh, avoid the drone. Okay, so now we got no radar markers. I guess we'll just keep heading east then. Okay, so I'm going to fly around and I will come get you guys when I find something worth grabbing you for. Okay, bingo! We have hit the jackpot, a large arrestrium deposit. There are drones guarding it, so we're going to have to take care of the drones. Hard to see them, it's so foggy, but... There's one over here for sure. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, okay, so... Right underneath me. Yeah, they're coming for me. So you can still stun lock them from from a big distance. So that's a bit of an exploit. You can just sit, sit back casually and kill them. Okay, I don't want to get too close in case there's like... I'm not in Xerax territory, so... But I'm not sure what's on the ground. And there's... Yeah, there's scorpions on the ground. Okay. Okay. So I don't want to land this thing. We'll just hover. Okay. Let's jump out. Wow, that disorientated me. <laughs> and see how I don't have to jump? I can just stand there and use... It's, it's really easy to get my drone now in this vehicle. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with this box top design. I just want to build this thing better. I'll probably strip this thing down. I'll keep the inner... I don't mind how the cockpit is on that. So I'll probably keep how the cockpit is. And, and just rebuild the rest of it. Okay, let's grab these before they disappear. And before something comes. Am I close enough? Come on. Yes. Big fuel cells. Nice. And right underneath us. Oops. Got that one already. It's this one. Nice. Okay. We'll get a little closer to the restroom deposit. Now, the problem is, is there's going to be replacements coming, drone replacements coming pretty quick. So we're not going to be able to get much. And we've got to be really vigilant. Really freaking vigilant. Um, looking for drones coming. And the patrol vessel. Oops. Oh, hit a rock. There, we'll just... Oh, bloody... Bloody heck. <laughs> okay. Good enough. It's very freaking loud, isn't it? Okay, so let's tab in, tab out so we get our radar back. And where is this? 25 feet. Okay, uh, we need to get our stuff anyway. Oh, and are we connected to... We're connected to a toolbar. Okay, that's fine. And come on. 
give me four. There we go. Yeah, baby. Okay, so we need a bunch of this. And I'll just keep the camera rolling for a bit. Um, just in case drones show up right away. And to get, just to see what the first chunk, size of the first chunk is. Which one's closer? It looks like over here. We'll make our way over to this chunk. We're getting the stone we need too. It's really hot here, eh? 128 degrees. Can't be standing on a vehicle to do this. Got to either do it in a vehicle, inside of a vehicle, or uh, um, have a mining vehicle, an HV. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, how much did we get off that? <laughs> 290, <laughs> holy crap, that was a big chunk. Okay, stuff's disappearing now, so let's go after this one. And we'll see, uh, I mean, that's that's massive, <laughs> 290 from from one chunk. Okay, that wasn't as big. That was 81. Okay. But still, we're up to 370. So we're doing good. Okay, I will come grab you if anything happens. Um, and, ooh, fire rain. So good thing. Yeah, see, this is a nasty planet. Um, other than that, I'm going to mine probably until I break my drills and get as much of this thing as I can. Fill up the SV and then we'll dump it off as the base that might be the end of the episode really is getting all this arrest room but it's a bit big fine big big fine okay i'll come grab you okay we are back and you can see it's night time um it's cooled down a bit it's only 144 four degrees Celsius <laughs> okay so we kind of made out like bandits here um, Wow 40 4300 a restroom or which is going to translate to 8600 ingots so we're good to own a restroom for a while we got a bit of crushed stone which is good we needed that so let's I'm going to just fly back to base, dump this off. We're going to call it an episode here. Uh, just wanted to show you what the planet looked like at night. It's kind of cool. Without the fog, we can kind of see a bit, right? So um, I'm not going to go around and discover everything with this ship because this ship is just not agile enough to deal with stuff. I want to bring in my combat SV to, to do all my scouting for me because it's just way better at it. And then I can go get my CV, bring my miner in and mine it properly instead of hand bomb this crap. So next episode, we still got to go hand bomb stuff because we got to go get Neo and some Sath to finish getting the resources we need for the CV. So we're going to have to warp to, um, I think the other planet beside us so let's take a look here. Okay, that took a while. That was where I think we need to go to Fallen. Because if you look at the planet info, it's got Sath and Neo. And it's may it'll be main ones too, because it, it also gets depletion ones of that. So I, I think we need to go there. Uh, there's silicone and Zass in orbit, but I don't really care about that. There's a restroom there in orbit. There's magnesium in orbit at that station. Nah. You know what? Let's go here. What is on Vrun anyway? Let's. 
So it is uh, temperate. Oh yeah, we gotta go check that out. It's got cobalt and iron. That's good. Okay. Well, guys, we made out like bandits. I'm going to head back to base, and next episode, we will go get more stuff, hopefully without dying. So, until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.